what is black and white and eats like a horse? The answer? A zebra, of course, which Anna has come dressed as today. Welcome back to our lovely stylist and colour guru. You are here to look at our colour wheel. Last yeah. time it showed us black and you've got an interesting fact about black, haven't you? It's on the colour wheel, but it's actually a non-colour. It's the absence of colour, in fact. I mean, you blow my brain. I know. It's like Brian Cox is here. I know, I feel very Brian Cox at the moment, yeah. <laughs> so how would you describe black in three words for me? I would say it's mysterious, it's also sophisticated, and dare I say, dramatic. A bit like James Bond. A little bit, yeah. And I guess black works with every colour, doesn't it? Yeah, it does go well with all colours, actually. But if I was going to recommend one colour not to use it with, maybe navy. <clears throat> I'll get changed. No, it, it does work, but if thinking if you're going to use it in the home, I probably wouldn't. It just there's not perfect bed fellows, let's say. And I guess when we're talking about using black in the home, we're not talking about decorating a whole room with it, are we? Well, sometimes. I mean, you know, there's been the rise of the Abigail Ahern's look, all this kind of really dark, moody, whereas a lot of black is used. People are using it on their walls, floors, furniture, you name it. So if you've got that kind of um, penchant, I would say go for it. But other people a little bit less brave, maybe just use it in your accents. And are there any rooms it works particularly well in? Well, I really like it in a small space because it kind of gives that sense of drama a little added peak. So perhaps when you go to the downstairs loo, paint walls or use wallpaper, even paint the ceiling, you know, go for it because I think that is the space that can really, really take it. Okay, so this might sound like a really silly question, but are there different shades of black? Not a silly question, there definitely are different tones of black and you can tell it with fashion when you put on different tops, I think you can tell. What interiors um, companies have done is bring out just off black colours, for example you've got your Farron Ball um, downpipe, which is just this really, it's been used quite a lot, but it's really good, really deep, deep grey and you can find that like with tiles, with all kinds of things. So what would you go for if you had £40 to spend? <laughs> I would suggest picture frame um, we've got them behind us actually and they look great you can, it really shows the definition between the artwork and the background it just sets it off really nicely nice to always group them together as well so you get a bit more of that black together also mix them together with some other color frames as well and if I like it a little bit more maybe a couple of hundred what should I invest in so I would say maybe go for some tiles they don't have to be pure black you can have a pattern on so mix with another color obviously monochrome is a good old classic look. Uh, loads of good tiles out there at the moment, beautiful um, options. And what colour grey would you go for with black tiles? Would you go for a white to give them more definition Ooh, or would question. you go dark? Good question. It really depends on your look. I might go all black because it might give a little bit more weight, whereas the white might kind of feel a bit, a bit, I don't know. A bit cheap. But I've seen, I've seen both used, but I'd probably go for a grey actually. So I wouldn't go black on black. So if I really love black and I want to go all out, what should I buy? I'd aim for your bathroom, Laura. Like, there's so many taps out at the moment, taps, shower heads, and then these critical style shower screens. Lots of people are bringing them out now, so the price points come down, and it looks really good, and it's been around for a while, but I, I've, I think it's got longevity to it. And are those like matte black finishes, or like a gloss, or? I like a matte black. People like gloss, but I definitely, I would go for matte black. I think it looks better. Brilliant, thank you Anna. I think that's been a very well defined uh, colour wheel very section. Good. So would you like to spin and see where we're going next time? Certainly would. Right, let's go for it. Oh, coral, look at us. Some little accents already. So join us next time when we'll be showing you how you can bring a splash of this beautiful sunny shade into your home. <laughs>